Neuralink and Facebook is working on brain control interfaces as well. They just bought Control Labs for almost a billion dollars, which was working on an armband to do essentially mind reading, to essentially be able to interpret um, input through through brain signals um, on, wow. on devices. So like this is a huge like it's we're five to ten years plus out, but that that's coming. Yeah, and we're, there's that episode of Black Mirror where they like everything gets recorded and it's yeah. like a chip in your brain, which is kind of like what Neuralink is trying to build. So that's really, this is almost like a really bootleg old school way to do the chip in the brain. You know, yeah. we're literally moving the chip like here, not in here yet. Yeah. But that's exactly so what's is happening is people are, what, what these companies are working on is miniaturizing BCI, brain, brain control interfaces, in such a way that one day um, there'll be sensors maybe on the temples of my glasses. And they're able to interpret certain words, maybe vocabulary. I, some say it's an optimal to have over a thousand words that they can recognize that um, where I can say, you know, text so and so or say yes, say no. And like you got to figure out the input there because you don't want that always listening to your mind. But like uh, maybe it's a tapping to turn the sensor on. But like that's what they're thinking through right now is like how do we build this new compute? And it's kind of if you go back to like when the mouse was invented and how like that fundamentally changed computing for decades and we're still using mice that are doing that like it's the next mouse um, and so that's what the smartest minds and technology in this space are working on and that's why elon musk is working on it and i love his analogy of like the data tube is a straw right now because yeah. like it's so slow and archaic the way we interact with computers it's bandwidth issue, yeah. bandwidth issue. Yeah. so that we're all about getting the more bandwidth in between your brain and the computer exactly. faster because that's the if I could think, if I could use a computer as fast as I could think, think about how much more productive we would be as a society. Because think about the time it takes to take what I want to type, type it out physically, make adjustments, that sort of thing. Imagine, you know, seamless input through your brain and how efficient. I mean, it's going to unlock tr probably trillions of dollars in like economic value alone just to, just saving that time. Yeah. And I call it like this is like the bicycle for the mind. The yeah. Neuralink is like the Hyperloop for the mind. Yeah. And they have the invasive approach, which is actually very controversial. I just actually interviewed a, a brain BCI researcher the other day. And like this is a controversial topic in the industry, in the what neuroscience Neuralink industry. The invasive versus non invasive, non invasive approach. Facebook Facebook is going the non-invasive and that's what control labs which was just bought by them was doing which is okay. like we are not going to do surgery to be able to do this so elon's actually taking it like a step forward there we haven't even gotten the non-invasive done really yet like that tech is very rudimentary he's going a step forward and saying like we're going to just start doing like full invasive and try to go there the problem is is like no one's going to get brain surgery like to do that so um it's very much an r&d project like maybe you will but i'm not going to get brain surgery <laughs> well they're going to start with people who who need it for medical needs right. first. So exactly. that's kind of a way to get over that right. hump. It's of a like medical thing. So yes, but I, the, in the neuroscience community, my very limited knowledge of it is that it's it's currently kind of controversial of like, as an industry, should we be focusing on non-invasive first and cracking the nut there? Because like we, we're, we're not able to type even with non-invasive approaches in a way with our minds that is like a keyboard, like in terms of words per minute. So mm -hmm. let's crack that first and make that a consumer product and then let's start. So, but Elon likes to go the full, yeah. the full way. <laughs>